So, uh, first of all, everybody, thanks for coming out. This is going to be uh, a ton of fun, I think. We're going to dive Hi. back into the Fallout Howdy. world. We got people talking to me already. Let's, uh, let's jump into the game. Here it is. We are just sitting inside of Megaton, and uh, we've got our nice Fallout jumpsuit on. I'll probably do a quick recap of... Of what we've done so far and what we're planning to do today, but uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for uh, for coming out. This is going to be really fun, I think. So, as a quick recap, we started in Vault 101. Okay, Vault 101 was a happening place. Uh, everybody was quote unquote born there, lived there. Nobody left. We found out that was a big load, and uh, now we are in Megaton, which is a settlement not too far from the uh, Vault 101, to be quite honest. And uh, now we've met a couple of people here. We met the uh, Sims, I believe his name is, who is the guy who was the first person we met. We went into this uh, compound. We also met uh, Mr. Burke, I think his name is, who wants us to blow up the bomb, uh, which is probably not ideal. And then we also met uh, Moira. Moira, I believe her name is. And, uh, Moira is interesting. She's asked us to do a couple of things for her, although I'm not 100% on if that's going to have a big impact or if it's something we should be doing, but I probably will be. Uh, if I want to jump into... Let's see here. Let's check out some of our quests. So, the Wasteland Survival Guide is something got from Moira. Uh, she wants us to go and find medicine and food in the Super Duper Mart. So, truthfully, uh, I know that this is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult, actually. And uh, I'm not sure how we're going to make that happen, but uh, we'll have to go and try it. One of the suggestions that I had, actually, was to switch the Pip-Boy color to something else. And I'm going to actually give it a shot here. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like the white. It's very nice, very nice. Sounds like we're going to be getting quite busy from uh, Moira, in terms of quests, I should say. So, if I wanted to try the radio, here would be a good time to do it. Eh? I don't know if I'd want to be walking through the wastelands with this just blasting the whole time. It seems like it might be distracting. Maybe the news radio would be cool. Does he just- does he talk about things that are relevant, or is it mostly just, uh... This kind of stuff. I guess he's talking about the vault. This one still got people living in it. And every few years or so, someone comes scrambling out. Every few years or so, somebody comes scrambling out. Okay. So, people outside are obviously familiar with that. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and, uh, start going towards our objective. We have, uh, we have a couple of things here. We've got a bunch of, you know, mega DLC kind of quests that we're going to be not doing for quite a while. But we also have to jump into the Super Duper Mart. We have, um, uh, following in his footsteps, so find Galaxy News Radio, disarm Megaton's atomic bomb, and then uh, investigating a whole bunch of different signals and things like that. So I think for now we're going to head to the Super Duper Mart, which is outside of Megaton. This should be interesting. Uh, let's make sure that we have the correct weapons and things like that set up. Let's definitely get our pistol going. Outside of that, I don't know if there's anything else we need to be doing. So, with the radio constantly on, though, do you not find that it's a bit distracting? Because there's going to be so many people talking? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Try the brass lantern. You are a great advocate for Megaton. Okay, so let's head towards the... What is the name of it? Mega Mart? I want to say Mega Mart. Super Duper Mart. Yeah, Megaton, Mega Mart, you know how it is.
So we have, uh, we have up the music volume a little bit just to try and get the balance a little bit stronger. Let me know how it sounds. Yeah, Dragon, I'm kind of with you there, pal. In terms of the uh, distraction. What do we got going on here? Hello! Hello. Okay. Go for it. Oh, he's right there. He's gonna hit us. Thought we might get lucky and take him out. Deadly. Literally. Okay, so that mole rat meat is probably gonna come in quite handy. Don't forget to equip my armor. That's a good point. Not a bad point. Um, apparel. What are we wearing? We're wearing our security helmet and our utility jumpsuit for lockpicks and repair. Uh, yeah, we have the armored, the armored jumpsuit, don't we? Smart. What would I do without you? And our reading glasses. I guess we can't wear helmets and reading glasses at the same time, unfortunately. Yeah, we look significantly better there. Also, I think I like the VAT system quite a bit. Uh, VATS is, it's pretty fun, and I'm, I'm a sucker for bullet time type things, so... This is like a Sniper Elite throwback. And I'm guessing that it heavily relies on our, um, our weapon skills for how accurate we are. It'll be interesting to see if there are things in the future that help us to get our AP points back, uh, faster. Because it does take a little bit of time to recharge, right? So, if you have a fight with multiple enemies, it could probably be, uh, quite challenging. Am I wearing the wrong armor? Oh, I did put it back on. <laughs> oh, dumb. Helmet, that's what I was looking for. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks way better. <laughs> now, is this the Super Duper Mart? I don't know if I need to be running around with my weapon just out all willy-nilly. Oh, what's going on here? Are these guys just duking it out? What? Hello, iBot. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Now, I see the Super Duper Mart, but I am wondering if perhaps... I don't know if I want to deal with her. She just literally killed a bunch of people in cold blood. And I'm kind of hoping... Here we go. Chinese pistol, Raider Blaster, Blastmaster armor. So is there a way for us to compare to what we have? I guess not. We have to go here. So damage reduction, 12. Small guns and energy weapons. And okay, so what we have is a little bit better. Okay, so a 32. Some pistol rounds. And then more of the same armor. Look, I'm already at my weight limit. I'm probably gonna add, like, um, some type of mod so I don't have to worry about scavenging everything. Okay, let's head inside. Oh god. A lot of people are talking about, uh, upgrading different skills, like the repair skills and things like that. I'll take a look at that when we get new, uh... When we get the opportunity to do so. Oh, there's people in here. Okay, stealth mode engaged. Where? Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh, this is bad news. Whoa! I've never seen that before. I guess this is what we gotta do. So much for stealth. 
Does every time we kill them, does their head pop off? Because I can get used to that. Now, I'm hidden again. These guys don't seem to be coming at me for whatever reason. Yeah, look, see, I'm already over my, uh, my weight limit here. Which is definitely going to be a problem. So, there's a console command you can do or something? Repair my armor as well. Choose an item to repair it with? How does that work? I have to repair it with something else? Cannot repair past 100? Looks like it's already, like, the condition's maxed already. Am I missing something? Because the condition is maxed out, no? Let's get rid of, the, I guess, a bunch of the jumpsuits that we don't need. Oh yeah, these are heavies. Yeah, these are good to get rid of. Helmets can go... Okay, that significantly changes things. So, in terms of the repair stuff, how... Am I supposed to repair? Because it looks like it's already max condition. Oh, you repair duplicates. Oh, I see. Okay. I understand. Well, we're good for now. Now, inside here, we actually don't have a destination to kind of show where we should be. <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. Oh. oh, she's throwing grenades. Did we just... Oh, she's crippled. Oh. oh, right in the eye and it, she barely moved. Assault rifle, that might come in pretty handy. Now I can just take all of these, right? Yeah, I can. So duplicates are not such a bad thing if I want to just repair everything, which I should have done instead of just dropping, but it's good to know for the future. Badlands armor. Now, this is a locked door. We also have a terminal. Okay, so back into some of the hacking stuff, right? Let's see if we can figure this out. We did figure out that you could back out before, like, your final attempt. And then it would, like, refresh them, right? Which is kind of cool. Okay, so, things inside, like, these brackets, apparently, if I select, like, inside some closed pairs, I just have to look for that. Nope. Oh, we're, like, here. Here's a closed pair. So, that removes duds, and then, do we get more attempts back from that? No. Okay, interesting. There's another closed pair. Here's another one. We don't get attempts back, but what is it actually doing? Oh, it's removing some of the words. So it actually en en enhances our chances of getting it correct, I believe. This is probably something that becomes second nature over time. Okay, four to seven correct in dealing. Okay, so let's actually back out and then we'll go back in. And as long as we don't use all of our attempts, then we can try multiple times, right? And it can also improve our uh, allowance, I guess. So that's kind of cool. But it's hard to, it's really hard to spot them. 
You kind of, I feel like maybe just scanning over top of them is the best case scenario. Plus, I can never get tired of the clicking sound. Here's one. Okay, so yeah, see how it removed that word? So I think the best thing to do, remove a bunch of the duds, and then start making an attempt. Because this way, uh, you can probably actually figure out what the, what the word is based on... Based on the ones that you know are correct and what aren't. Here's one. Here's another one. Okay, so I think that's all of them. Let's try sealant. So one of those is correct. One of the seven. Smarter. So I'm guessing it's probably the S at the beginning. So maybe serving. Now two of those are right. Damn it. Oops. <laughs> we'll just shoot at the computer. If you only click the words, I'll tell you how many letters are correct. You can click when entering in a terminal to skip the typing. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. Let's remove some of the duds. I'm kind of fumbling through here, so just don't mind me for a few minutes. But I'm really trying to get a grip on this. I guess our hacking skills goes up, it makes this easier, but... Even those little tiny ones work. Hack the computer with bullets. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But one thing I'm wondering is, is it supposed to take time? Like, this- each time I've hacked computers, it takes me like a long-ass time to do it. Okay, let's try reading. Hey, well that'll work. We got lucky, I guess. <laughs> of course. Okay, to disengage the lock, I assume for this door right beside us. Hello. I see shiny objects. Let's check those out first. Nuka Cola Quantums. Beautiful. We also have. Oh, yeah. What does he do? Very easy. Okay. So, easy, I guess, is just showing how many, um... How many possible letters in the word. That's what the difficulty kind of controls. Oops. That just cost us an attempt. Okay, here should be one. There we go. It will be really interesting to see if I can get better at this over time. I guess spotting the things to remove the duds probably helps. But now we're down to like way less words, right? So let's try sword. One of those is right. Saved. One of those is right, which means it definitely starts with an S. Uh, but now if I stay in here, we get screwed. So let's just try this again. Tries, two of them are right. Uh, which means this one couldn't be it. Armed couldn't be it. Uh, actually armed could be. Nope. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. So I don't know that using the things to remove, um, remove the duds helps a ton, but... Run maintenance routine. Top of the line Robco products. Robco service terminal. I don't know what this is gonna do. That's probably gonna... Oh yeah. Please don't shoot me. 
Loading personality. Robco R04 B9. Office helper. Hey. Running default office protocol. So that was the Air medicine that we needed. Loading daily agenda. Air or Please tell me that this guy is just going to go destroy everyone. That would be absolutely outstanding. Let's use a stim pack here, get some HP back. I guess we just click on it, and that's all we need. Please stand back. Protectron. Greeting, fellow office employee. Please present your valid ID. Thing is, I don't have an ID, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe I don't want to be there. Maybe what we want him to do is get involved with these guys. We still need to find food, right? That's a thing that's probably important here. Yeah, find food. So we need to find like a freezer maybe or something like uh, anything like that. Whoa. Oh, are you kidding? Now, how come I can't? Oh, uh, there we go. Her head is crippled. Let's grab the Magnum rounds. Ooh, a shotgun would be kind of cool. Shotgun shells. Now, we're over and covered again. My god. So maybe this is where we could try and repair some stuff here. Yeah, here we go. So that actually makes a lot of sense. You're just taking pieces of the other stuff to fix the problems on the other one. I can't tell if he's attacking me. Oh no, they're fighting. This is good. I'm gonna let them go to town. Okay, now it gives us some time to actually check this place out. Ammo box. Let's take this. What do we have here? Oh, there's our office ID. That's all I needed? Uh, let's see. Office ID. I'm hoping that it's just because we have it, he won't shoot at us. Oh, is it because... Oh, God. Accepted. I probably have my weapon out, so he's, like, not super enthused. Maybe not. He's still shooting at me. Come on, boy! Fresh meat. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Hello. Okay, level up. Beautiful. We can try that. Okay, now we've got uh, some additional weapons here. We can't really repair that one. Because the the conditions are too high, I guess. Now, I want to know, do these... So, pistols, obviously, small arms. Assault rifle looks bigger. And does it show anywhere how they're actually classified in terms of weapon types? Like a sawed-off shotgun, as an example, would that be a small weapon or a big weapon? Not exactly sure. We've got small guns. Uh, here it shows. So, 10mm pistol, assault rifle, and combat shotgun. So, we could actually use the assault rifle, which is kind of cool. Does significantly more damage. We don't have... It's not in the greatest condition, but... Now, how do we level up again? I'm gonna have to find out how to do that. Can I do that in here? No. So, big weapons mean, like, really big guns. Okay, cool. I will definitely keep an eye open for that. You can hotkey your weapons and stim packs. That's pretty cool. Oh, you gotta wait till you're out of combat. I understand. Okay, let's see if we can't sneak up on this one. Yikes. 
Oh. Let's just go for the head. Yep, that's not bad. That is not bad. There's still someone back here, though. Is there? Oh, that's our Protectron. Is it? He must be shooting at me because I have my weapon out around him. Or maybe he's just identified me as a uh, as an enemy now, and I can't go back from that. Okay, where's the food? The robot's almost dead, so if I need to take him out, I will, but... Ah, fridge, perhaps? Yeah, that'll do it. And just for completion's sake... Oh, it just happens automatically. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so, uh, repair is obviously going to be quite important based on what I just learned there. Um, let's put a couple of points in that. Thank God we get so many points from our, uh, intelligence. Small guns I'm going to continue to get better at. Um, science for hacking I think would be great. And probably lockpick just one like so. We're, all, we're obviously going to need things in, in barter. Maybe big guns once we start finding them. I don't think it makes sense to invest and then, uh, and then not have the guns to actually use. Uh, melee weapons would be not bad. Sneak is definitely something we should do. Maybe science, let's go to an even 40. Let's start our sneak a little bit here. Okay, now we have uh, another perk that we can choose. So, Daddy's Boy, devoted your time to intellectual pursuits. You've gained an additional five points to science and medicine. Gun Nut, uh, you gain an additional five points to small guns and repair skills. That's actually quite good. Intense Training, with the intense training perk, you put a single point into any of your special abilities. Lady Killer, do 10% against um, female opponents. Little Leaguer, this is probably melee weapons. Yeah, melee and explosives. Swift Learner, again. Um, no, we'll pass on that one. And Thief, with each rank of Thief, you gain an immediate bonus of 5 to sneak and lockpick. I think I'm going to go Gun Nut for the uh, small guns and the repair skills, actually. Or you know what? Maybe Lady Killer would be cool. I just don't get that it's like 10% damage against female opponents. But maybe some of the unique dialogue options could come in beneficial. Why not? Okay, so what else is going on in here? A laser pi- Ooh, hi there. Let's get some lights going here. Bottle cap mine, laser pistols, hell yeah. Some stim packs. Cherry bomb, cigarettes, shot glass, switchblade. Let's take it all. And so now, actually, the laser pistol is probably going to be ideal. We need to repair it. So the damage is not as high as what the assault rifle is. But I wonder if... Uh, if it's better against certain enemy types, like maybe the, the robot, right? Let's see. We could obviously leave here, but I'm curious to see what the robot might drop if we do take him out. Now that we have him roaming this place for us. That was actually kind of a cool way to do it. Alright. Constantly going to be needing to repair things, I see. Let's just get this done while we're in here. 
I guess I shouldn't even be clicking on them. A mine box? Hello. And I guess for weapons and stuff, we're just switching to mines and grenades just like anything else. Just like any regular weapon, I suppose. Pilot light. Like, a lot of these things are just literal, right? Paint gun, as I say, literally junk. I don't know where the robot went, so forget him. Guys, we did our first quest. This is kind of cool. This is a big deal. Oh, God. Wait, is somebody in here? Nope. These are some nice amenities they have here. Very well kept. Very clean. They don't even smell like AIDS. Oh, here's all the stuff that I dropped. Oh my god. You know what I'm gonna do is actually pick them up and we'll repair them. And then I guess if we sell things that are better repaired, it's probably, uh, probably worth more. Oops. Okay, so let's, uh, we could repair a whole bunch of these things, actually. Except for that one, of course. They seem to batch them with similar... Uh, conditions. My god, everything is in such good condition that I'm definitely going to have to drop some. I don't even know that- maybe I shouldn't even do this. Just stick with what we have. I kind of figured like they would be uh, collectibles, you know? The jumpsuits. Okay, so now... We're out, we're safe. Ish. Could definitely be worse. I guess walking around with our pistol out is probably not the greatest idea if we want to make any friends here. Like, look at all this, man. We could- this could just take- you could just go. Do whatever. So we fulfilled both of the quest things. Oh, I hear somebody here. What the hell? Oh, was that a little kid? Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. What's going on? Those things, they keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. Hey, hey, just, it's gonna be okay. No. Oh, God, no. Those things, they're right behind me. Leave me alone! Unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't really help you. Those things. It's all their fault. They did this to us. Okay. No, you don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. <laughs> what? Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. And schizophrenic. Just help me. Promise you'll help me. Oh my god. I I want to help you. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Okay. So you need to find your dad. What can you tell me about these monsters? Are they those things that we just killed? That little mole rat thing? Well, 
They're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's happened, guys. We got our first crash. Things are frozen. No! Okay, we're gonna get this sorted. 